Hey everyone, Jamie here with Originality AI. Originality AI is an AI content and plagiarism detector, boasting a 99% accuracy rating for AI content detection. Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at GPT Zero's AI content detector. GPT Zero has garnered a lot of hype recently, so let's see if it lives up to that. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on GPT Zero. Um, so just as our base case, we're just going to grab some text from one of these articles. So just going to be grabbing this text here. A couple of things I want to talk about before I do this. I actually really, really like GPT Zero's UI, its user interface. I think it's really clean. I think the color scheme is really good. I love the fact that you can upload a file. It claims to be able to detect GPT-4 and chat GPT and all that kind of stuff. So we'll put that to the test today. Uh, all right, so let's just paste that information in. Oh, slightly too many characters over. Okay, I should do it there. And then agree to the terms of service and just click get results. Okay, and it's saying that the text is likely to have been written entirely by a human, which is obviously accurate. So that's great. It's a good base case for us. So now the first test we're going to perform is just a standard GPT-4 generation. So from that article, we're looking at the best cookware sets. So that is the prompt that I will give GPT-4. Okay, so here we are on ChatGPT. And I'll just cut to it for when it's finished. Okay, so GPT-4 has finished writing the article. Obviously, as you can see, this is a terrible prompt. So hopefully GPT-0 picks this up. Just copy this here, head back over to GPT-0 and paste it in. Thankfully within our character limit, so that's good. Okay, and it's giving us, your text is most likely human written, but there are some sentences with low perplexities. So this brings us onto a good point. GPT-0 bases its AI detection score on the perplexity and burstiness. That is a measurement of the randomness of the text and the variation in perplexity and also like the variation in sentences and sentence length and things like that. So we can see these sentences here where it thinks it's been written by AI, but overall it's given us a most likely human written. So already not off to a great start, to be honest. Let's head back over to GPT-4 and we will start a new chat. And we'll just ask the same thing again. And this time we'll ask it to write more like a human. And I'll just cut to when it's finished writing the article again. Okay, so GPT-4 has finished writing the article. This is gonna be hopefully more like a human. So we'll just copy this over. And paste it into GPT-0. Get results. Okay, may include parts written by AI. So interestingly, Hmm. GPT-0 detected this one as being more likely written by AI. Interesting considering the fact that the prompt was definitely a lot more complex than the first one. Okay, so it did pretty well on that one. And the final test for it, we're just going to pass some text through Quillbot and see how GPT-0 does with paraphrased content. Okay, so here we are on Quillbot. We're going to head over to our GPT-4 written article and we will just take this point number one here. Okay, and already that is over. Let's just do this short paragraph here and paraphrase this content. Okay, great. So let's copy that. Head back over to GPT-0, paste it into here and get results. Okay. And it's failed on this one. So it now says the text is likely to have been written entirely by a human, which is obviously false as we saw that it came from GPT-4, passed through Quillbot. So 
I didn't touch any of this, I didn't write any of it. So it failed on that one, unfortunately. And the last test we're going to perform is with just standard GPT-3. So we will head back over to ChatGPT. And once again, we're just going to ask it to write us an article about cookware products. And again, I'll cut to when this is finished writing. Okay, so GPT-3 is finished writing now. I'm going to copy this over. Paste it here into GPT-0. And once again, it's picked up that some of it has been written by AI. So it's not really giving us a 100% written by AI, which is a little bit disappointing, especially for GPT 3.5 content. I would have kind of expected and hoped that it would have picked up the fact that it was written by AI. But now we will check out Originality AI using exactly the same articles and see how it does. So here we are on Originality. Another advantage of using originality is the fact that you can check for plagiarism and its readability. We obviously won't be doing that today, but we're just going to be detecting AI. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our base case. So we're going to take this content here and paste it into originality. And originality has detected it as 99% original, 1% AI. This is a confidence rating. So this would be a correct score. Okay, now let's grab our first GPT-4 prompt. So we're going to copy that over into originality, paste it into here. And it's detected this as 100% AI, which is kind of what we'd expect. Let's grab our second article. This is the one that GPT-0 also picked up. So I'd expect originality two as well. And once again, 100% AI, so incredibly accurate so far. Next up, we have the Quillbot paraphrased content. This is the content that GPT-0 was not able to pick up at all and declared it as 100% human. And originality AI has detected it again. And finally, just for fun, we'll do the GPT-3.5 prompt. And once again, this is a positive again, so 99% AI. All right, and that about rounds it up for this review. So GPT-0 obviously failed on several different aspects, including the GPT-3.5, which I was quite surprised at. I expected it to not do so well on Quillbot, the paraphrase content. But as we can see from the results, Originality AI was able to pick it up every single time, proving its 99% accuracy rating. Find us at originality.ai. You'll get 53 credits upon signing up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.